Okay, Louise is here on the kitchen floor. I was uh, recently trying to make her into a good circle, but she settled down to this one, and uh, that one's good enough. So I'm going to measure across. I'm going to show you in a second a photograph I took of her a long time ago where I piled a bunch of rubber ducks into the middle of her coils because I was going to glue the rubber ducks all over my bathroom walls because that was just seemed like a good idea that day. Here I am. I have one duck. How many ducks can I put in this space? What I want to know is what's the area of this circle right here. So let's go with measuring her across to get the area of something inside a circle. Area inside a circle, that would be area of pi times the radius squared. So what's the radius? I want to measure the inside of the circle. So from there to about here, that's 28 inches. This isn't quite a perfect circle, so let's measure it this way as well. And that's also about 28 inches. Okay, so we'll go with that. Think of this guy. How big is this? That's 2 inches by about 2 inches. So every duck is going to take up a space that's 2 by 2. Pi r squared, the diameter, is 28 inches. Radius is half that, 14 inches. Here's a circle. Radius. That's the radius. Distance from the center to the outside. Okay. Pi, we're gonna pi, we're gonna call that three. Radius squared. 14 squared. Uh you know, I should know that at one point I memorized things like that. That's okay. I can calculate it. Four or four. Sixteen. One is five. Zero. Four. One. One. Ninety-six. That's our squared times by pi. Three. Twelve. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Three. Four. Five. We've got 588 square inches over here for the total inside of, of Louise. And we said that a duck is going to be by two on a side, so uh, a duck takes four inches, four square inches. So 147 ducks inside Louise. Does that seem reasonable? 100 ducks would be 10 on a side. It would be a square grid of 10 by 10. That would be, that would be 20 inches across by 20 inches down. That's reasonable. Okay, that's 100, and the other 47 could go around. Now, if these were, the thing is that we've decided that a duck takes up a square like this, and so they're going to be in a grid, whereas actually the duck kind of has an oval circular base, so you can, you can, you can squish them in a little more and, and get a whole lot, probably squish more in, than you could if they were, if they were really square bottomed, but that's, that's, uh, now we're getting into tessellations and all kinds of stuff. And I'm not going to go out and test it with 147 ducks. But if somebody wants to uh, put 147 ducks into a circle and put a yardstick next to it and send me a picture, that would be great.